everyone, this is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and welcome to episode 14 of Best Glitches, the series where we look at games new and old and explore the greatest glitches they have to offer. Today, we'll be looking at the classic Rockstar Vancouver title, Bully. Released in 2006, Bully was a refreshing take on the open world action adventure genre. Instead of playing as a gun wielding psychopath, you take on the role of the troubled teen Jimmy Hopkins. After getting dropped off at the new school, Bullworth Academy, it quickly becomes Jimmy's goal to stop the academic corruption and store balance between the school's rival factions. Beyond fist fighting and slingshotting your way to the top, there are dozens of exciting and addictive activities to participate in. These include your typical school courses, side jobs, racing, and a handful of carnival games. But if all that wasn't enough, Bully is filled with truly legendary glitches. These range from playing dodgeball in heaven to running above the map. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's look at a method to leave the academy early. At any point in chapter 1 or 2, make your way to the right of the girls dorm where you'll find this garbage can. Go to the left side of it and hop in. Pan your camera towards the wall, then exit the can. During this animation, begin walking forward. If done correctly, Jimmy will glitch into the wall. In case you get stuck, rapidly begin jumping and you should pass through. Now you're free to explore Old Bullworth Vale. Most of the stores aren't open yet, but you can still find collectibles and smash garden gnomes early. The other sections of the map are closed off at this point, but you can glitch the blue skies by heading to this location and jumping along these rocks to bypass the barrier. This glitch can also be done during Halloween, so you're free to perform the five pranks in town. Gary and Petey won't be able to follow you after passing through the wall, but they'll respawn if you enter the boxing gym. Once you're done, let yourself get busted by the cops to return to the academy. Up next is the skateboarding bike glitch. Find a bicycle and stand next to it. Now press enter to get on the bike while swapping to your skateboard at the same time. If timed correctly, you'll be on the bike while holding the board. From here, push in your left analog stick to look behind you. Hold down the right trigger to drop your skateboard, then begin rapidly tapping the run button. This will glitch your character into the skateboarding animation while you're pedaling the bike. The controls will function as if you're riding a bike normally, but attempting a bunny hop will do this. You won't be able to jump or get off the bike unless you crash into something. On the plus side, you can't be thrown off the bike either. As weird as a glitch may look, try crashing into a wall without falling off the bicycle. This will despawn the skateboard and you'll begin floating over the bike. You can bunny hop without the bike glitching, but I can't say the same for Jimmy. No matter what tricks you pull off, you'll always float in the air. Even doing a front or back flip won't affect your position above the bicycle. Moving on, we have the levitation glitch. Go to any trash can and find an NPC to shove into it. But before you grab them, make sure to be crouching. And it's as simple as that. Now, by going to a higher elevation, you'll stay at that height while running around. Just be sure not to punch, switch items, or get too close to cars because the glitch will stop working. If you're in the earlier chapters, this glitch can be used to reach any of the blocked off locations on the map. To get the blue skies, for example, activate the glitch next to the academy stairs, then make your way to the parking lot. Your player should be just high enough to pass through this gap. Now make your way to the train tracks where you'll find this invisible barrier. Thankfully, it's quite easy to sidestep. And with that, you're free to explore blue skies. This glitch can also be used to reach the Final Cut clothing shop and unlock the go-kart as early as Chapter 2. You can even leave the entire map if you want to. Just be prepared to get knocked out and placed at a nearby hospital. If you've ever been annoyed by bullies in Game Timer, then this next glitch is just for you. Stock up on some firecrackers and let an NPC attack you till your health drops into the red. Now make your way to the carnival and stand over the strikeout game marker. With the firecracker equipped, hold down the right trigger till the firework blows up in your hand. If your health was low enough, you should be knocked out. Just before the screen completely fades to black, hit enter to start the minigame. You should briefly appear outside the carnival's medical center before teleporting in the strikeout. Lastly, back out of the game and you'll have successfully removed the timer. For the remainder of the game session, time will no longer move. This means you can hunt collectibles and play minigames as long as you want without Jimmy passing out. You can go to sleep, but all this will do is change the time of day to 8 a.m. To restore the in-game timer, simply reload your game save. Next is the Dodgeball Heaven Glitch. After completing all five levels of gym, you'll unlock the ability to play dodgeball at any time. Similar to the Time Stop Glitch, craft some firecrackers and lower your health into the red. 
now stand above the dodgeball marker in the boys' locker room. Equip the firecrackers and hold down the trigger to blow yourself up. Once you're knocked out and the screen begins fading to black, hit enter to start the dodgeball minigame. And with that, you'll be on the dodgeball court thousands of feet in the air. Your teammates in the opposing team won't be able to move. If you switch players, Jimmy will wander off the invisible court. You can try playing the game, but you'll quickly discover that isn't an easy task. Hit players will flip upside down, the ball will constantly fall through the court, and countless other glitches can occur. But visually, this makes for a fascinating glitch. In Chapter 3, there's an easy glitch to make between $400 and $1,000. Start the mission tagging and play through it like normal until you buy the spray paint. For this glitch to work, you need to spray four spots in a specific order. The first tag is on top of the Wonder Meets Warehouse. From here, use the skateboard to jump to the building across the street to spray the spaz sign. Next is a billboard across from the greaser safe house. After that, make your way over to this building and climb the ladder. Take a right where you'll have to walk over another ladder and the tag spot will be right there. And with that, the glitch will have been activated. Just tag any of the last locations and the mission will be complete. As you can see, the payout will be over 400 bucks. To make 600 more dollars, spray the spaz sign and wait around till it disappears. You should be able to tag it at least 5 more times, doubling your pay. And for our last bug, we have the spaceship glitch. On the last mission, Complete Mayhem, it's possible to get a spacecraft from the Future Streets arcade game into the free roam. Play through the level like normal until Russell breaks open the Academy Gate. From this point, travel to the boys' dorm and start the Future Streets arcade game. Press Accept to cancel the mission, then immediately exit the arcade game. This will put you back in the mission except Russell can now be knocked out. Knock Russell out, then quickly start the arcade game again. Keep tapping the run button until you appear at the gates with the spacecraft. You can play around with the spacecraft here if you want, but there's still a few more steps to get it into the free roam. Park the spacecraft at either the girls' dorm or the library and wait for a townie to run inside. Once he does, go in behind him. If you couldn't get through in time, you can try again by pressing jump the exit the arcade game, then repeat the step of knocking out Russell. Once you make it through the door, the mission will continue like normal. Play through the rest of the level, but whatever you do, make sure not to get back in the spacecraft. After fighting the final boss and sitting through the end credits, make your way to the spacecraft and enjoy the chaos. Much like the arcade game, you can hover around with great speed and fire infinite laser blasts at NPCs. You can't be thrown out of the spacecraft, so enjoy watching cops in despair trying to stop you. Be careful not to hover near water because you'll be kicked out of the spacecraft. For a little extra fun, I recommend dressing up in the alien suit and pretend you're playing Destroy All Humans. Well everyone, there you have the best glitches in Bully. If you'd like to suggest a game for a future best glitch episode, please leave a comment below. Super special thanks to my Patreon supporters, John, Scissor, Jordan Flathery, and Kia M. Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.